right? And uh, she would like to share also her advocacy and her uh, her business, all right? Um, she, uh, young lady here, another young, beautiful lady who has mm -hmm. her uh, social responsibility and the name of her company is Lirio and uh, Jacinto and, and Lirio. Jacinto <laughs> and Lirio. Yes. <laughs> and uh, she will tell us why it's Jacinto and Lirio. Because that, that would be normally the first question that one would ask. Why did you name your company or your products Jacinto and Lirio? Jacinto and is actually Spanish for Hyacinth. Then Lirio is Spanish for Lily. So we combined both because people here in the Philippines confuse the water Hyacinth as the water Lily. And it's not. It's, two it's different not. Plants. It's two different plants. Okay. So the ones we see commonly in the lakes here in the Philippines are actually no. the water hyacinth. Uh, what about the one in Pasig River? It's also the water hyacinth. Okay, water yes. hyacinth. And the water lily is? The water lily is another plant, a smaller plant. Uh, okay. It has different flowers. Oh, uh, okay. It's interesting to know. Good. So these are, uh, you have handmade plant leather goods. Yes, um, I, actually the whole process uh, involves a lot of handmade work. So um, here, here you will see that it looks like leather, but it actually um, was made using hands by our community in Rizal. And we call it the plant leather simply because it's not woven. It's different from the usual native products that you see. And we can also do a lot of things with it. Like, uh, we can also do embroidery like the ones you see here. It's embroidery and this is actually a preview of our up upcoming product which will have embroidery prints on it. Um, uh, these prints are inspired by Philippine animals. So we have here Butanting, Tamarao, then there's also the Pawikan. Yeah, Butanting. Okay. Yeah, Butanting. This is the Butanting, and this is the Pawikan, then this is the Tamarao. So this, uh, these covers will be placed in our upcoming planner this hol these holidays, this uh, December. Mm -hmm. So watch out for it. <laughs> okay, so these are the planners that you have. All right, may, may, may I see this one? Yeah. yeah. But how did you get into this business? Why did you think of, you know, using hyacinth mm. and, uh, you know, making them into... Uh, book, uh, no, uh, mm -mm. calendar covers or the planners, yeah. Well, the water hyacinth is actually an invasive, invasive plant, so it grows too fast mm -hmm. that um, in the people living near these lakes suffer uh, floods usually, so flood, the floods usually um, reach even as high as 0.7 meters high mm -hmm. and then there's also fish because kills. of the highest it yes, yes because blocking, it clogs the waterways yeah, yeah, it, it so that's blocks, why right. it causes floods like um for example in cotobato before uh 33 out of 37 villages there mm -hmm. was sunk so mm -hmm. there were around 25,000 families who were affected and, and they displaced. had to evacuate right. yeah, they were they displaced were, okay so apart from that, of course, there's the waterborne diseases, mm -hmm. and there's also um, the the blockage of marine transportation. So fishermen cannot fish. Mm -hmm. So with these problems, we realized that there has to be something to be done mm -hmm. out of this pest. Yeah. So we decided to look into this mm -hmm. and. Um, and then see what you could do with. Yeah, with, see with what the we can do so that uh, we can help breed back, uh, give back life to these lakes, but mm. also give livelihood to the communities, th communities no, that are who are living in poverty okay. and do not have jobs. Mm -hmm. So specifically the mothers who who are given the opportunity to work at home while mm -hmm. being able to take care of their children at the same time. All right. Um, interesting. So how do you make this flat? So you get the weeds of the, mm -mm. of the hyacinth? We actually use the stalk, the ones that's underneath the water. Yes, so yeah. we gather the stalks, we clean it, and then we open it. Then we 
scrape off the fibers inside, mm -hmm. then flatten it, then um, turn it into the what we call the plant leather. So okay. it actually involves a long process, just making the raw mats alone. Yeah, right. Then after that, so is this dried? Is it sun dried? Yes, it's sun dried. Okay. So, so what you do is you spread it out, like if it's yeah. a big stalk. Yeah. And then you open it and then you spread it yeah, out. Yeah, we spread right. it out. Okay, so it, it's uh, big enough and long enough to be able to make uh, rolls rolls of this. We Yeah, we make it long enough so that we can make rolls out of it. Mm -hmm. And then that's when the design process starts. Mm -hmm. So we have bags, wallets, planners, journals, passport Yeah, holders. let me see. What about this one? Yeah, this can we have the video also, please, of the... This one is actually one of our new designs. Mm -hmm. It's a travel wallet. So it has a passport holder here. Then you can place your brochures, then different currencies here, mm -hmm. then SIM card. Then it has this oh, retractable... Oh, wow. Yeah, it has <laughs> a retractable wristlet. So okay. you can insert it like here a clutch. in your hand. Yeah, like a clutch. Yeah, all and you right. Can um, insert it Oh, back. wonderful design. Then outside, if you're in a hurry, you can place your passport here first. Yeah, with the so ticket too. With their ticket. Mm -hmm. So this one, it's a new design. It comes in three colors. We also have tangerine orange and black. All right. And okay, so this is the, the highest end uh, stock here. I mean, leather here. Yes, also uh, inside. We oh also there. place okay. one inside. And, and it's combined with another material, no? Yes, yes. So the one we see right now playing on the screen is uh, a, a planner, wallet, and mobile case in one. So the main reason why we made this, this design was because, um, for example, during lunchtime, uh, usually you would see people, employees, uh, carrying their cell phone, their wallet, then sometimes a notebook, and it's all here. Yeah. So, so right. it's siya. So it, there's a tendency that you might leave it behind. So yeah. we made that this design so that you can place everything in one pouch, mm -hmm. all the essentials, and you can also bring it during your meetings. Yeah. Then the covers are inspired. The, the the cover designs are inspired by Philippine culture. Mm -hmm. So we all. So that's why you yeah. had that. You had that. What we showed a while ago about all this uh, yeah. pawikan and all these wildlife designs that you have, no? Yes, yeah. this is just for one collection. So the other, the one playing right now is actually inspired by Philippine games. Philippine so, games? Yes, we laser etched the cover. So it has um, Luxong Pinik, mm, Pico, wonderful. Habulan, Langit Lupa. And the design was actually um, made by a Filipino artist named Bromel Jossan. Okay. Oh, there, that's the La Roque Planner. Yes. All right. So, Jacinto and Lirio, meaning Hyacinth and, and Lily. Lily. Wonderful. And how did, how did you think about this concept? Mm -mm. I mean, you wanted to help mm -mm. the poor communities, the affected mm -mm. communities that, were, uh, that had uh, abundant uh, water Hyacinth, hyacinth right? Yes. How, how well, did you think about this uh, uh, when concept? When we started, um, BTI actually has been initiating a lot of trainings already mm. to help these communities. But the usual trainings involve weaving, like the usual ones we do with our other native um, materials. Mm -hmm. So uh, we said uh, there has to be something more than just weaving baskets and mats out of these plants. So not to mention the lack of appreciation by Filipinos towards native handicrafts. So we said we have to do product innovation in mm -hmm. order to make it appealing to Filipinos and not just to foreigners. Yes, that's right. So uh -oh. we did a lot of experimentation and we just did uh, a lot of R&D with what the communities already do with the water hyacinth and mm -hmm. just improve it so that... Um, you did this on your yeah. own or with some friends? or with with some, Yeah, with some friends. Okay. Actually, this started as a thesis in school. Ah. Then, um, then uh, how yeah. how to uh, yeah. how to help the poor uh, not uh, communities? Really. No, we were just asked to make a business. All right, okay. And then the business we made was social uh, social yeah. enterprise. Yes. So after graduation, we actually won some awards that 
push mm -hmm. us further to really continue this because we had funding to use for the business and for training the communities. Mm, so you per persevered and, and yes. you continued <laughs> this, right? Yes. Okay. So the, how many years has been this uh, has mm -hmm. this been going on? Well, uh, we're already on our sixth year. Okay. Uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, sixth year, huh? Yeah, but for the first three years, it, it was actually more of a market test period, mm. experimentation. And then it was on our fourth year that we decided to go for this a, a little bit more full time. Yes, okay. And then eventually we started what, what, what's this lady doing right She's now? She's actually scraping the fibers. Ah, and then what do you do with the fibers? Uh, yeah, the, uh, the fibers uh, depends. You can make ropes out of it or you can use it as fertilizer or okay. for charcoal. Actually, the water hyacinth, you can do a lot with it. Uh, in our case, uh, we just started with plant leather goods, mm -hmm. but we can actually make home and living items like lampshade or wallpaper oh. or even a picture frame like this with uh, print. So we, have, we can do a lot of expansions in the future. All right. So right now, we just have retail and we have corporate accounts. Uh, corporate accounts or for mm. giveaways, yeah, for or giveaways. You, as you mentioned, also uh, uh, giveaways for uh, weddings, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are. We haven't been really marketing it as a wedding souvenir, but we have been yeah, receiving eventually maybe messages. Can, <laughs> yeah, to, to yeah, come so up with with such yeah, eventually, items. Eventually, yes, we do have plans to uh, give more wedding specific items. Mm -hmm that brides can give to their entourage or to the ninongs and ninangs. Okay. So, Christelle, they could find you uh, on the website. Mm -mm. And yes. it's, again, under Jacinto and Lirio.com. Yes. We also have uh, other partner stockists. So, we have in Scribe, in Megamall, Eastwood, uh, Shangri-La, SMRA, mm -hmm. and... Um, yeah, for Scribe, you have in all their branches. Then mm. there's also Fully Booked. Oh, okay, in some you're, branches. you're there too. Yeah, okay. Alabang, mm. um, Loretta, Katipunan, Wonderful. and Green Hills. Yeah, so thank you for uh, spending time with us, with our guests tonight. I mean, it's a wonderful product. So do please try to support our young Filipino entrepreneurs. They have wonderful products, and they're helping out with uh, uh, our... Um, our brothers who, who need it the most, you know, the, 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 uh, the livelihood products, you know, that they come up with. All right, so thank you so much again, Christelle. Thank you. Find them uh, on the website, Lirio and Christelle. Uh, Lirio Hasinto and uh, Lirio. Hasinto and Lirio. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining me this evening. This is Consul Aneta Blanc for Icons and Circles.